Kingdom, Animalia, Phyla, and Classes. Memorizing characteristics about specific phyla organization for Kingdom Animalia is not required for the AP Bio exam, but familiarity with them is helpful in understanding evolution, phylogeny, and cladistics. Phylum Periphera Sponges are asymmetrical and have no specialized tissues. They are sessile, which means they are unable to move, as adults, and they are filter feeders. Members of this phylum exhibit sexual or asexual reproduction. In this picture, we see sponges in an aquatic ecosystem. Phylum Cnidaria. Members of this phylum exhibit radial symmetry, have specialized tissues, and are modal, meaning that they can move. Cnidarians alternate between polyps and medusas throughout their lives. They reproduce sexually as medusas and asexually as polyps. They also contain stinging nematocysts that can be used to hunt. Examples include sea anemones, jellyfish, and coral. Polyps are pictured on the left, and medusas are pictured on the right. Phylum Plata hominthes, the flatworms. Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical. Anatomically, they have an incomplete gut with only a mouth. They lack a circulatory system, so oxygen is exchanged via diffusion. Platyhelminthes reproduce sexually or asexually. Some members, like flukes and tapeworms, live as parasites. Examples include planarians, flukes, and tapeworms, like the one pictured here. Phylum nematoda, the roundworms. Members of this phylum are protosomes, pseudocelinates, and exhibit bilateral symmetry. Roundworms have a cuticle that's a tough skeleton. Anatomically, they lack a respiratory or circulatory system and have a complete digestive tract, from mouth to anus. They reproduce sexually and often live as parasites. Examples include hookworms, pinworms, and guinea worms. Phylum mollusca. Mollusks are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomates. Anatomically, they have a complete digestive tract and have bodies that do not show much segmentation. They live in terrestrial or aquatic ecosystems. They reproduce sexually, and some mollusks are hermaphroditic, meaning they have both male and female reproductive organs. Examples are snails, mussels, and octopi. Phylum Annelida. Annelids are found in different habitats, such as land, freshwater, and even marine water. They have a bilaterally symmetrical body with three germ layers, so they're tripoblastic. They have a complete digestive tract and a closed circulatory system. A distinguishing feature here is that they have a true body cavity. The body is also segmented with some organ differentiation seen. Reproduction can be sexual or asexual. When they reproduce asexually, they do so by fragmentation. Examples are earthworms, marine worms, and leeches. Phylum Arthropoda. Arthropods are the most diverse of all animals. They have an exoskeleton made of chitin and jointed appendages. The name arthropod actually means jointed foot. There are five main classes. We will discuss the three most important ones. Crustaceans. Most of them are aquatic arthropods with segmented bodies, an exoskeleton, four antennae, and one set of appendages per segment that are highly adapted to their niche. Recognizable decapods, ten-legged organisms, have two main body segments, a cephalothorax and an abdomen. Examples include crabs, shrimps, lobsters, and barnacles. Phylum Arthropoda Arachnids These terrestrial arthropods have evolved book lungs for survival on land. Their bodies are divided into a cephalothorax and an abdomen. They have eight legs and four modified appendages used for feeding. They are important invertebrate predators. Examples are spiders, tarantulas, scorpions, and ticks. Phylum Arthropoda Insects Insects are the dominant terrestrial arthropods and are found in all biomes. All insects have three body segments, which include a head, thorax, and abdomen. Wings, compound eyes, and six legs. They grow through metamorphosis. 
They breathe on land using a system of trachea and spiracles. Phylum Echinodermata Echinoderms are on the same evolutionary branch as vertebrates. They are both deuterostomes. Like cnidarians, adult echinoderms show radial symmetry. However, their larvae show bilateral symmetry, which suggests that echinoderms had bilateral ancestors and that radial symmetry is a derived character. They have a peculiar water-driven tube system that helps them in moving around. They also have an internal skeleton made up of calcium carbonate plates known as ossicles. Most echinoderms reproduce sexually. Some echinoderms can regenerate portions of their bodies, and sometimes they use regeneration to produce offspring. Examples are starfish, sea cucumber, and sea urchin. The name echinoderm means hedgehog skin. Echino for hedgehog, and dermata for skin. Phylum chordata. The phylum chordata contains all vertebrates and some invertebrates, such as lancelets and tunicates. At some point during development, all chordates have a notochord, a hollow nerve cord, pharyngeal slits, and a tail. Within chordata, the subphylum vertebrata includes all animals that have an endoskeleton made of bone or cartilage. Out of all the phyla in the animal kingdom, Chordata is the only phylum that contains animals with a backbone. Pictured here are a human being and a lancelet, which are both members of the phylum Chordata. The humans have a backbone, the lancelets do not. Vertebrata classes. The subphylum Vertebrata contains five classes of extant fishes and four classes of extant tetrapods. These are animals with four limbs. Tetra means four, Pods means feet. The four classes of tetrapods are amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Notice that the birds have a closer common ancestor with the reptiles than with the mammals. Even though both birds and mammals are warm-blooded, the birds evolve from reptiles, as is evident by the modified scales, which are their feathers. Superclass Pisces. The first recognizable vertebrates were fish. Lampreys and hagfish are two primitive jawless fish still in existence today. Fish are the dominant aquatic vertebrate. They use their gills for gas exchange, respiration, pulling dissolved oxygen from water. The heart is present with two chambers. Fish achieve locomotion using fins. Two important classes of fish are the cartilaginous fish which includes sharks, rays, and chimeras, and bony fish, which are all other fish. Bony fish are further subdivided into ray fins and lobe fins fish. Lobe fins fish have a series of bones in their fins. They are the ancestors to all land vertebrates. Some of these lobe fins fish, including the lungfish, are able to walk on land. Class Amphibia Amphibians evolved from lobe fins fish. They are the first tetrapods, or vertebrates with four limbs. They can live both on land and in water. However, they need a source of water in which to lay their eggs. Their heart is three-chambered, with respiration occurring through gills or lungs. Typically gills for the larval tadpole stage and lungs for the adult stage. Examples include salamanders, frogs, and Sicilians. Pictured here clockwise from the right, is the Seymoria, which is extinct, the Mexican burrowing Sicilian, the Eastern Newt, and the leaf green tree frog. Class Reptilia Reptiles, birds, and mammals are adapted to giving birth on land by using the amniotic egg. This type of egg creates a waterproof container for the safe development of the embryo. These three classes are referred to collectively as amniotes. Reptiles were the first amniotes. They all have three-chambered hearts and are ectotherms, cold-blooded, meaning that they cannot control their temperature by ramping up their metabolism. Oviparous reptiles lay eggs externally, and viviparous reptiles retain eggs internally until full development. Major reptile groups include turtles, tuataras, snakes, and lizards, crocodilians, and dinosaurs, which are now extinct. Pictured here is the bearded dragon lizard. Class Aves Birds have many adaptations for flight. All birds have hollow bones, 
a highly modified circulatory system, and feathers. Their forelimbs have been modified into wings. With a convex shape called airfoil, wings can generate enough lift for flight. Birds are endotherms, or warm-blooded. They have a four-chambered heart and breathe through lungs. They have a very high metabolism in order to generate enough energy to power their flight in a unique one-way breathing system that is highly efficient. They lay eggs. Birds are directly descended from dinosaurs. Pictured here is the kingfisher. Class Mammalia Mammals evolved while dinosaurs dominated the earth. After dinosaurs became extinct, mammals developed adaptations that allowed them to fill the vacant niches. Mammals share four features, hair, mammary glands, a modified middle ear, and a jaw that lets them chew food. Mammals are endotherms, or warm-blooded. Hair helps us significantly in keeping a stable body temperature. The body temperature will stay stable even when temperatures are very cold. Milk produced in the mammary glands is the primary food source for infant mammals. The three major groups of mammals are the monotremes, the egg-laying mammals, marsupials, like kangaroos, and etherians, all other mammals. Pictured here is the rhesus macaque, and it is a mammal in the order primary. Humans. Humans belong to the order primates, the family hominidae, the genus Homo, and the species Homo sapiens. Adaptations that enable us to excel as a species include larger brain to size ratio, endurance running, sweating, walking upright, hearing tuned for speech, and teeth good for eating a variety of foods. Pictured here is a hominid phylogenetic tree. Homo sapiens is shown in red.